Hey everybody, Sander here, and I'm gonna show you guys how you can install the Wooting 60HG Plus module within the LMA 60. And keep in mind, uh, installing your Wooting 60HG module in the LMA is quite similar as installing your module into a third party case. There's a lot of third party cases for the 60% layout have similar mounting styles. But still, there are a couple of cases out there which are not suitable for the 60HG or need some modifications. For that, we have a case compatibility list in the description below, so please check it out first. And if your case is not listed on the case compatibility list, be sure to ask around maybe in our own Discord, or maybe look up on the internet if maybe someone else has actually a good experience with using this case for the 60HG. Uh, let's not talk too much and let's get into the tutorial. So let's go. The only items that you will need is a screwdriver with the Philips PH1 tip. Tab 1. Decide which sandwich pad you want to use. Pre-installed into the module is the silicone pad. And with this you get a more clacky sound profile as it mutes the deep sounds more. We also have a poron pad, which enhances the lower frequencies and gives it a more thock sound profile. If you decide you want to go for the silicone pad, then you can skip till step 6. If you plan on using the poron pad, then stick around. Step 2. Flip the module around and remove the 8 silver screws on the back of the PCB. Be sure to only screw out the big screws and not the smaller screws of the stabilizers. Step 3. Pull the PCB apart from the plate. You don't need a lot of force for doing this. And then remove the silicone sandwich pad from the plate. Step 4. Grab the poron sandwich pad and insert it on the switch plate. Make sure the holes align with the switch plate. Step 5. Put the PCB back onto the switch plate and check if the foam is still seated properly everywhere. If it does, you can screw in the 8 silver screws back into the back of the PCB. Some LMA60s have two pieces of tape or a screw with a silicone ring holding down the gold accent piece. Please remove the tape and the screw with the silicone ring before starting. And make sure to not reuse the screw and silicone ring that holds down the accent piece. You can simply just throw these away. Step 6. Grab the LMA60 and insert the standoff at the spacebar location. Do this all by hand and don't over tighten it. And you might also notice there's another standoff in the provided bag. And there's also another hole in the middle of the LMA60. Should I also install those? Uh, no, don't do this. Uh, leave this empty for the 60HG. This standoff is mostly meant for other keyboards on the market that needs this positioning. Step 7. Apply the silicone ring from the included sheet onto the standoffs, or optionally on the PCB screw holes. This prevents direct contact and reduces noise. Step 8. Grab the bottom foam either from the module or the LMAs and insert it into the LMAs. Make sure to align the cutout of the USB-C port with a hole in the LMAs. Wrap the foam around the standoffs to have a nice snug fit. Step 9. Grab the module and insert it into the LMAs. Insert the back with the USB-C port first and then drop in the front slowly into the case. Step 10. Grab the 5 wire screws that came with the module and screw the module into the LMAs. Step 11. Grab your switches and for reference the window part of the switch is the north side of the switch and the south side of the switch is with the brand name. Make sure to always align the window side of the switch, so the north side, with the LED square on the PCB. Simply grab your switch and insert it into the plate until you hear a snap. The PC plate is pretty flexible, so especially in the corners, you need to support it with your finger so it snaps better into place. If you have an ISO board like I have right now, you have to insert the switch at the enter with the window facing west. Because if you insert it north, you might harm the PCB. 
Step 12. Lastly, grab your keycaps and insert them on top of the switches. The switch stem has a cross, just like the keycaps. So you simply slide them on top of it and push them into the place. It's kind of like playing with Legos. I don't have an ISO keycap set available right here, so I can fully complete this part. But if you want a reference of how it looks like to assemble your keyboard, then make sure to go to a quick start page in the link in the description. And if you still want to attach the strap onto your LMAs, then stick around. And else, you are done. Good job! Step 1. Fold the strap ensuring the holes align with each other. Step 2. Push the screw posts through the straps holes and hold them into place with your finger so they don't fall out. Follow the orientation shown as in the tutorial. Step 3. Get the screws and twist them into the posts. Step 4. Grab your silicone piece and stretch the silicone piece around the screws on one side of the strap. Silicone is a stretchy material, so it's totally okay to stretch it out a bit. Step 5. Insert the corner of the loose end of the silicone piece into the hole of the alumes. Give it a little bit of a push and you should see the corner of the strap sticking out slightly. Grab the corner that sticks out and pull on it. Step 6. Wrap the loose end of the silicone around the screws on the other side. And voila! Here you go! You have your strap installed! Woohoo! Very nice! If your screws are still a bit loose, you can simply just tighten them by hand if preferred. There's no need for a screwdriver because this will just increase the risk of just scratching the screws. And this is pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Of course, if you want to see more content on this channel, then I'd say subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.